love the postman. <sighs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or of course, welcome to my channel if you are new here. If you are new here, my name's Olivia and I post a new video every Wednesday and every Sunday, with the exception of this video. This is a bonus video, but I'm very, very excited. Before we get into the video, please, please make sure you've hit that subscribe button down below and that your notification bells are turned to all so you do not miss any future videos. And also don't forget to smash the thumbs up button if you are enjoying this video because it really, really helps me out. But other than that, let's just go ahead and get started because I cannot wait to get into this video. Okay, so as you can tell by the title, today's video, I am testing a brand new Beauty Bay collection from the Buy Beauty Bay range. This collection hasn't even launched yet and it turned up at my door today because I recently got added to the Beauty Bay Generation Beauty Bay PR. So basically on Monday the 1st of February 2021, so this coming Monday, the day you see this is Saturday, so Monday this collection is going live on beautybay.com. I'm not 100% sure on the time, as soon as I find out I will leave all of the details in the description box down below, but it will be on Monday, this will be going live on the Beauty Bay website. So inside this collection is the New Romantic collection from Beauty Bay, and I've got a little card here, it comes with a palette and a trio of liquid eyeshadows, which is really, really exciting. So I'm going to read you some of the details off of the card. Obviously, I'm going to, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys all the details about this brand new collection. Then I'm going to swatch everything. Then I'm going to show you how I got this eye look because I actually filmed it. So you're going to get a tutorial of this eye look as well so you can see how the shadows perform and see what you can create with it. But first, let's just go through the products. So it says on the back, Beauty Bay, love and makeup is all you need. You're about to fall in love with your latest makeup obsession. Whether you're spending Valentine's with your BFF, significant other, or yourself, get in the mood for love with the new romantic collection. So you've got the new romantic palette. This new romantic palette is the one for creating those dreamy soft looks with a mix of 20 deep red berry and blossom shades in matte and shimmer finishes. The palette has everything you need to create the look of love, which I agree. Then it says new romantic liquid crystals. Get your flirt on with the new romantic liquid crystals with the classic liquid crystals formula. The crystals are perfect for layering over shades from the new romantic palette to create spotlight looks that you'll fall in love with. So it says you've got the three different liquid crystals. Obviously you can get them as a trio or you can buy them individually and you've got the shade, I'm gonna mess up these names, got the shade Sardonyx, which is a soft berry with gold and silver flecks. Then you've got the shade Morganite, which is what I have used on my eye and possibly on my lips as well. And that is a fuchsia with a subtle gold and orange color shift, stunning. Then Carnelian, which is a deep berry shade with subtle pink and gold glitter. So obviously I'm gonna swatch everything. So. This is just the description. So the new Romantic palette is launching the 1st of February. This is gonna be 15 pounds, 18 euros or $15, obviously depending on where you are. Then the new Romantic Liquid Crystals Trio, the liquid eyeshadows are also launching on the 1st of February. And these are also gonna be 15 pounds, 18 euros or they're gonna be $18 for these, or you can get these individually for six pounds each, six euros 95 or eight dollars each. So yeah, that is the pricing for this collection. So now we can just dive on into swatches and all that good stuff and then the eyeshadow tutorial. So basically the main star of the show obviously is the new palette and Look at this packaging. Like, look at this packaging. Tell me this packaging isn't beautiful, because it is. It's absolutely stunning. Whoever designed this, like, honestly, you need a pay rise because this is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. The whole packaging, the colors, the vibe, it just completely matches all of the shadows inside. It's so stunning. It really does remind me of Valentine's Day. So yeah, it says, 
On the back, New Romantic, it's time to get intimate with the By Beauty Bay New Romantic palette. Inside you'll find 20 shades in all the warm berry and blossom tones you could possibly need. Each silky soft shadow buffs and blends seamlessly onto the lid, whilst our iconic matte and shimmer formulas have intense colour payoff that lasts all day long. You're about to fall in love with your latest obsession, and... I fell in love with it! I fell in love with it! Oh my goodness! I'm going to be doing so many looks with this, but... Ugh. Oh my goodness. So <laughs> anyway, opening this up, it obviously comes in the bubble wrap like all the Beauty Bay palettes do. This is just the outer packaging. And then inside we have the palette. And if you notice where it says New Romantic on the front of the palette, it matches the Unicarton. This packaging is very, very beautiful. It I just can't. It is such cute packaging. Honestly, oh, it just has my heart already. It's so beautiful. And anyway, opening it up in its side, it obviously says New Romantic. That's the name of the palette. And it's got a mirror. So I am going to do a close up to show you the inside of the palette. And then we will do some swatches. So here is the palette inside these are all of the beautiful shades they are absolutely stunning i love the color story and it is very like valentine's so yeah look at all of these beautiful colors it is literally the most gorgeous color story and i am just obsessed okay so the way i'm going to do this is i'm going to swatch row by row and i'm going to swatch them on my hand and then give you a close-up like so so that is what we're going to do we have Vanilla, birthday, oyster, flamingo, and lingerie on the end there. So that is the top row. So here is the second row. We have milkshake, chintzed, I can't say that one, <laughs> claret, queen, and smoothie. So yeah, they're swatching beautifully, guys. Really, really are. Oh, guys. I can't deal with how beautiful they are. So from here, we have Penny, Embers, Raspberry, Mars, and Royal. How stunning. I've still got shadow all over my hands, but last row is Muffin, Khaki, Saddle, Valentine, and Ink. That is the last row in this palette. Okay, so that was all of the palette swatches and honestly, all of those shadows swatched like butter. Like you saw it. Oh, honestly, especially the, the shimmers that Beauty Bay do are literally perfection. And even the mattes, like, they blend together like a dream. So pigmented. But next is the liquid eyeshadows, if I can get them out. And are you ready for me to butcher the names again? Because that's probably what's going to happen. But here are all three liquid eyeshadows, or liquid crystal eyeshadows, should I say. And again, they're just in this packaging. They say liquid eyeshadow on them here. And then they have the Beauty Bay logo on the top. And there is three to choose from in this new romantic collection. So the first one we have is the one I actually used for my look today. And this is the Morganite liquid eyeshadow. I am going to swatch for you guys. So here is my hand and I'm just going to you see how the colour shifts in this is so stunning. The pink with the gold and orange reflex is just gorgeous. So the next one we have is Carnelian. I'm going to swatch this one for you guys just right next to these swatch so beautifully as well and they're so opaque like you could use these on their own they're so opaque i used this one i used morganite for my eyeliner 
but this is the second one this one is carnelian in the middle here and again it's just so shimmery so stunning i love it and then the final one we have is sardonyx and this one i'm gonna swatch again just next to here they're all so different and so beautiful i can't so this one is sardonyx here this one we've got morganite carnelian and sardonyx all three liquid crystal eyeshadows these are absolutely stunning so yeah now that all of the swatches are out the way all of these products swatched so beautifully but obviously the real test is seeing how they perform on the eyes and the face and all that good stuff so i am going to jump to the next clip which is going to be me with just my eyebrows done so we can work through getting this look together and then at the end of the video i'll give you my final thoughts so yeah let's just jump straight into this eye makeup tutorial using the new romantic collection from beauty bay okay guys so as you can see i have zoomed you in i have primed my eye i'm gonna do one eye on camera i'll go do the other eye off camera yeah you get the gist i always do this with my testing videos so yeah, I've got my eye primed and now it's time to dip into this baby. I am so excited and honestly, Beauty Bay always have the most stunning quality of palettes, like for the price point. So I am super hyped to be trying this one out. So first I'm going to dip into this shade here, which is called Clorette. It's like this deep red shade and I'm going to put this just above my crease and I'm going to pack that on as sort of the deepest shade and then we'll blend it out with lighter shades so just gonna dip into this start stamping this into the crease look at that color payoff already that's incredible and i'm gonna sort of wing this out so i can do a cut crease that's the plan first impressions this is so pigmented, it's stunning. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've packed this into my crease and the color payoff is amazing. Next, I am going to dip into Milkshake here, which is like this little bit of a brighter pinky red. And I'm gonna use this to blend out where we've just stamped Clarette. So I'm just taking this just above this and buffing out the edges and again the color payoff is beautiful and i'm not too worried about the edges getting messy because we can clean that up just using small circular motions to blend this out i will go back in with clarette and sort of blend it all together afterwards but it is beautiful Please excuse what I've done here. I accidentally <laughs> picked up a wet brush and done that, but I'm gonna cut past that anyway. So yeah, that was me, not the eyeshadow. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Moving on. Um, the final shade I'm gonna dip into for this part of the eye is Flamingo here, which is this really light pink, like a flamingo. These shade names are so cute. So I'm going to dip into that and then blend out the rest of <laughs> blend out the rest of this up towards my eyebrow. Just blending this out using this lighter pink. Blending so nicely. Like just the least amount of effort required and it's just blending out. Okay, so you can see where I've blended out with the pink and I am just going to go back in with Milkshake and just blend it all together so it's all nice and seamless and then we can get on with cutting away this bit where I <laughs> stuck my wet eyeshadow brush. Okay guys, so 
obviously the underneath is messy so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some eye makeup remover and a cotton bud and we're gonna carve out where we want the cut crease to go so that we can move on to the next step I'm doing a more complex look because I want to show you guys as many of the shadows working as possible so yeah let's get on with that as you can see I'm just using this to cut a line and this is a really good way to get a really nice clean cut because you can just wipe it away and then go back in with your eye base afterwards as you can see it's removing it really nicely so I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing this and then we'll move on to the next step of this look. As you can see I have cut the crease quite high so that when my eyes open you can see it. How did I problems but um yeah I've cut the crease. The colours are blended beautifully together honestly like a dream. So what I'm gonna do now is to separate between this colour and the next colour I'm gonna take one of the liquid eyeshadows and I'm taking the one in Morganite and it's like this duochrome colour. It sort of shifts like gold and pink and purple. It's really, really beautiful. I have never tried the Beauty Bay liquid eyeshadows before, so I'm very excited to try this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a liner brush and I'm just going to go underneath here with a line so that we can sort of separate the colours that I'm using and so I can show you as many of the products as possible working so yeah so yeah I'm just gonna sort of use the brush to take the product off the doe foot and then I'm gonna line underneath that it gets such a stunning shift to it oh it's beautiful I love it so as you can see, I have put that liquid eyeshadow down and honestly, that just glided onto my eye like butter. It's stunning. And look at the reflex you get off of it. It's so beautiful. It's not like cracking or anything. And it's so pigmented. It was so easy as well. Like it wasn't, it was like the perfect consistency for a liquid eyeshadow, honestly. But that is gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do now is I don't overly need to clean the bottom up, really, it's quite clean, so I am obviously going to go back in with some eye base, so I'm going to get my eye base, sort of just follow that line, stamp it all over the lid, so we can go in with the next shade on this eye look. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have put my base down, but I absolutely love how this is looking so far, this collection is stunning, it's very Valentine's. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go with another matte shade because what I'm thinking is once we've packed a shade on the lid is sort of joining the liquid eyeshadow back down to the eye there and sort of having like a graphic liner moment and then I will use some different shades on the under eye. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to dip into this shade here called Smoothie and I'm going to pack this all over my lid and I'm not too worried about the sides because I can clean that up afterwards. Ooh, that's a really nice pinky red as well. This is more of a sort of muted pinky red compared to Milkshake. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit of embers here which is like this pinky brown like ready pinky brown and I think I'm just gonna put some of this on the outer corner just to sort of smoke it together if that makes sense and just sort of giving the outer corner a little bit of depth I, I think you can see that starting to come across on camera so as you can see I've blended out that lid shade this palette's just dreamy guys, it really is. So again, I'm taking my eye makeup remover and a cotton bud and I'm just going to clean up this line so we can go down with the liquid eyeshadow again. Okay, so again, I'm just going back in with the liquid eyeshadow in Morganite and I'm just going to take this on my little liner brush again and just go 
along this line here. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've done the liner down the side as well now, and I am so happy with how this look is coming together. It's so stunning. I'm really hoping that you can see it properly and that the lighting is okay. But yeah, it is beautiful. So basically now I'm gonna go in with some shades for the lower lash line. I'm thinking I'm gonna go in with that ember shade again here, and then I'm gonna blend it out with lingerie up here, which is this lighter brown, dipping into embers. And then I'm just gonna tuck this in near the lower lash line here. And now I'm just gonna buff that out with lingerie on a little flat brush. And then I'm gonna take the fluffy side of the brush and just buff out the edges here. So now just moving on to the inner corner and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this shade here called Raspberry because it's like a beautiful shimmery pinky red and I just feel like it will tie everything together really nicely. I actually have really high hopes for this because beauty base shimmers are always stunning. Oh, it does not disappoint. Look at that. Whoa. That is stunning. Look at that. Whoa. I need more. I need more. And I'm just going to pull that across my waterline there on my inner corner oh my word final shade from the palette that i'm going to use i'm going to dip into oyster here and i am just going to put this on my brow bone there just to give it a little bit of a moment highlight that little moment there this is the finished eye look obviously i've got to do my mascara and lashes but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off camera do my other eye mascara lashes base and then I will be right back and I will give you guys my final thoughts on this new beauty bay collection this is the completed eye look using the new romantic beauty bay palette so as you can see I've done my base and I've also added a lip what I want to do is dip into the palette and actually use a blush and highlight out of here. I think that would look really cute. And for blush, we should dip into Milkshake and Flamingo here. So Milkshake and Flamingo. I'm just going to dip into both of those just a little bit. And then I'm just going to put this on my cheeks here. So as you can see, that's just added a nice little bit of colour to my cheeks and I think it looks really cute. Obviously because I've used those shades on my eyes, it sort of ties together really nicely. And then for highlight, I'm actually going to dip into Oyster, which is the shade that we used on the brow bone. Use this as highlight. Ooh. Okay, Beauty Bay, can we have this? as a highlighter shade please so as you can see we've then used oyster as a highlight and i am oh <laughs> i am actually obsessed with how it looks as a highlight and using flamingo milkshake as a blush i love this whole look it's very pink it's very like valentine's it is stunning so the final thing that i wanted to do really was where I've got the lipstick, I did want to take the same liquid eyeshadow that we put on the eyes and maybe just like pat a little bit on the lipstick just to add a little extra something because it is very matte other than the eyeshadow. So I thought, other than the eyeshadow, other than the liquid eyeshadow where we sort of used it as a liner. So I thought maybe if I just take some of this on my finger, 
like this, we could just, that is, ooh, really pretty. Just give us a little, a little moment, like, honestly. I don't know if you guys can see. That is amazing. So this is the completed look with the new romantic collection from Beauty Bay. This is what I've done. Obviously, I used the eyeshadow palette and I used the eyeshadow palette for my blush and highlight. And then I've used the liquid eyeshadow for my lip topper and for the eyeliner here as well. So honestly, guys, my final thoughts are that this collection is stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Some of the best eyeshadow formula I've ever tried has come from Beauty Bay, so I wasn't expecting anything less. I absolutely love their eyeshadow formula, especially their shimmers. They've got it down to a T, and this collection did not disappoint. The palette is beautiful. Obviously, this whole collection is vegan and cruelty-free as well, which is amazing. The, oh, the packaging is just stunning. Like... Even the outer carton packaging is just absolutely gorgeous. They just, they blended like a dream. The pigment, oh, and the eyeshadow, the, the liquid eyeshadow, it doesn't crack. It hasn't sort of worn off. It was so easy to apply with a liner brush as well. Very impressed. The colors in this palette are, absolutely gorgeous like even if you're not a massive fan of color this isn't too much it's not too much there are a few little pops of color but it's largely like browns and pinks and mauvey tones and it's just absolutely stunning there's some very muted colors as well like the color on my lid i can't say enough good things about it and for 15 pounds you're getting 20 eyeshadows and they perform this well you need to pick this up. You need to pick this up. You really do. And then, obviously, the liquid eyeshadows. Again, the packaging for this collection is just so on point. So on point for what this collection is. It's obviously very like Valentine's coming into February. So, yeah, it's absolutely stunning. And, again, you get three of these liquid eyeshadows for £15. They're multi-use, like you could obviously use it all over your lid, but I've used it as liner, a lip topper, like 15 pounds, that's a bargain. And honestly, it's not cracking or anything. I mean, this eye look has probably been on now for a good two hours by the time I'd done the other eye and done my base and everything. And it still looks just as beautiful as when I first put it on. So my thoughts are, Get this collection. It's absolutely gorgeous. Valentine's Day is coming up on the 14th. Even if you're not with anyone, treat yourself. Treat yourself to this collection because it is absolutely beautiful. It launches on Monday, the 1st of February. I'm not sure what time, but obviously it'll be on beautybay.com. And as soon as I know a time, I will leave it in the description box down below for you guys. And as soon as the palette goes live for sale on Monday, I will leave that in the description box as well. But yes, Monday, the 1st of February, this collection will launch. And I recommend the full collection. I mean, the full collection, the free liquid eyeshadows and the eyeshadow palette will be £30. So yeah, definitely, definitely go and pick this up. It does not disappoint. And it is honestly the most beautiful colour story. I, I just can't get over it. And those liquid eyeshadows, man. Oh my goodness, I just can't. So yeah, that is my final thoughts and opinions. I'm gonna stop rambling on now, but thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you wanna see more looks that I do with this palette, because I will definitely be doing more looks, there's so many different possibilities with it, then definitely go and follow my Instagram. I will leave it linked in the description down below, and I will post any looks that I do with it over there, including close-ups of this look as well. Yeah, thank you guys so, so much for being here and watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, turn your notification bells on, and give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. But other than that, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!